watermelon sugar. Guys, once I just do this, I promise you, I'm about to fucking go off on this episode. He kept licking me. Do you Ew, know? lick. <gasps> like, where did he lick I don't, you? No, I just can't. I feel like. <laughs> do I keep going? Yeah, I don't, keep I'm... going. Ramble. Pretty basic. Thank you to Stamps.com and Grammarly for sponsoring this episode of Pretty Basic. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Pretty Basic. I am Alicia Marie. I am Remy Cruz. And uh, I have to say, this is one of the first times in a while that it's just been us. I've missed it so much. I've missed it too. I know we, we've had some amazing guests recently. Mm -hmm. So many amazing guests. Obviously had a pounce at the opportunity to have these people on I'd and have conversations and get to know them. Yes, and do you feel like randomly there was like a crazy crazy influx of people wanting to be on pretty basic. Yes, I mean, we felt cool as fuck, obviously, but it is nice to just sit and chat with my girl too. I know, I was gonna say, are we are we cool? But I know, I did see some comments and DMs from you guys of people being like, I love the guests, but I also miss just you guys. Um, we also kind of had a weird scheduling situation because normally we try to at least alternate the guests. Yeah. So I think the past three weeks we've had guest after guest after guest and that wasn't intentional, but I saw some people being like, oh, I miss it. Just you guys, which I agree. We yeah. do too. I would love to know if you guys are uh, in the comments of the YouTube video, comment down below and let us know, do you prefer guests or individual just like us two? So mm -hmm. I guess not really solo, what we call it, just the girlies. The say, regular program say guests schedule. or just the girlies. Yes. Like for me personally, I listen to some podcasts religiously and I'll always listen, but I prefer more when there aren't guests, but we would obviously just like to know what you guys think and what you guys want from us. So let us know. Yeah, let us know. But yeah, sorry, it's been a minute since it's just been us. Normally, I'm, I'm, I've been on that side of the couch. It feels weird to be on this side. I'm happy to be back here. I miss this side, honestly. You've been on that side. Have I? <laughs> This whole time? Oh, because of the guests. Oh, <laughs> I thought you meant our solo. No, I get Just it. the girlies. You're happy to have more. Just the girlies. I love it. I love it here. How have you been? What's new? Oh my gosh. I feel like there's so much to talk about. Yeah. I mean, this weekend I went to Vegas and I went for the When We Were Young Festival, which is like Paramore, My Chemical Romance, AFI, Taking Back Sunday, like all of these good nostalgic emo bands. You know what I mean? Long story short, I woke up the morning of and I get a call from our friend who's the one who got me the tickets in the first place. And she's like, hey, it's canceled. At the same time, I have like seven texts, one from you, one from Ollie. Apparently there was like insane winds. So they canceled it and we weren't planning on going Sunday. We were just, we, we drove in Friday and we were driving home Sunday. So went all that way to not. Was there insane traffic coming home? Surprisingly not, but I oh, think good. it's because we left Sunday oh, and there was still another why. festival going on. It was kind of weird because normally for festivals, you have like different bands on different days, but this was the same lineup were both days, Saturday mm -hmm. and Sunday, which I kind of liked because then you could pick which day you want to go to. I, yeah, you said that to me, but I got confused. I thought you meant you were going to go to both days and see the same oh, people. That's no. why I was confused by that. Yeah. And this is the first time this festival has been ever put on. Yes. And oh, earlier this sucks. year or a year ago is when they announced it. And I remember there was a lot of speculation about whether it was real or not, if it was like fake, if it was going to be the next fire festival. Um, and it was put on by Live Nation. So I thought for sure, I was like, oh my God, no, this is solid. The other day, I was at a Chargers game at SoFi Stadium and we're walking and the way that it is at that stadium, the Uber pickup line or or Lyft or whatever, like that, the ride chair is at the forum across the street. So while we're at the Charger game, we're walking to get in our car and it says My Chemical Romance is playing at the forum. And I was like, oh my God, how did I not know they're here? And then I saw it said five nights, right? I was like, oh my God, like wow. I have to go. Uh, like, oh my God, famous last words, Black Parade. Like, you know them. So I look up tickets. That was their last night <gasps> of the five nights. Oh my God. Their last night. I was so Who sad. Who is in My Chemical Romance? Gerard Way. And then I don't know the other ones. <laughs> it's Who? like the typical band where like there's the lead singer and like you don't really know. I know people are gonna relate, but I know people are gonna be mad. Like I'm I'm not into any of that music. I never was. <sighs> but who are the Madden brothers in? Oh, Good Charlotte? 
Good Charlotte. Yeah. Yes. I always get those two confused. They, oh, a lot of them do sound similar. Similar and like similar look yeah. and like band sort of vibe. But yes. I'm glad that, well, I'm, no, I'm not glad that no. you missed it. I'm sad that you missed it, but I'm glad you still went to Vegas. I'm so sad. So I saw, oh my God, that was their last night being at the forum. Let me look up where they're going next. Maybe if it's even like Arizona or something, like somewhere like close-ish, San Diego. I don't know. I would drive. Then I saw that they were going to be at the When We Were Young Festival in oh. Vegas. It hits me. Oh my gosh, this must be real. It's not fake. It's actually happening from like the year ago when I saw it. So I'm like, is anyone going? I need to go. Like, I know I will, will regret this with my entire life if I do not go. Like, I knew I would have so much FOMO. Mia ends up saying, oh my God, I'm going. So I'm like, yo, can I catch a ride with y'all? It's her and her boyfriend. So I was like, I will third wheel. You won't know I'm there. I <laughs> I'll promise. be so quiet. I'll I be promise. so quiet. I was just like, ah, yeah. So we get in Friday. I'm like so excited. I only really packed like emo clothes. <laughs> like I didn't really pack any club and stuff. You know what I mean? What are emo clothes? What did you bring? Just, no, just like I had like black uh, shorts, a black skirt, like black pants, some like crop tops, like a, like a corset type thing. But it, I definitely went the more edgy route, you know? I last minute threw in some like heel heels, but I was like, I'm not gonna need these. So Friday comes around and um, Mia's boyfriend's like, oh, I've heard that there's this like Omega Mart thing. Oh my God, I've seen that on TikTok. Okay, you're the only person that I've mentioned it to who's like, I know what that is. Yeah. So I'm glad you know. Should I buy tickets? Some of my friends are going and we're like, yeah, sure, whatever. Mia and I have no idea what this is. Like no idea whatsoever. Just- being blunt, like this is the type of place you go if you are like on something. Like, oh. <laughs> like I, we were sober. It's just a fake market, right? Oh my God. It was at Area 15, so it was like a pop-up essentially. You walk into this like supermarket and when you first walk in, you notice that some things are kind of weird, some things are fake, but there are some things you actually can buy. So we're like, okay, what's real, what's not? Like it looks like cereal, but it's like a funny saying and like like weird art on it but they're empty boxes. But the next to it will be like keychains that actually you can purchase. So, ah. or like merch or like, so it was kind of just trippy, right? Then you go to the back, you know, like when you go to the gas station and there's like a, a fridge, fridge door yeah. for sodas or something, there's like Coke, Mountain Dew, like Sprite, whatever. And then to the ne the the door next to it has like fake Coca-Cola bottles. And we're like, oh, interesting. You open it. The whole thing opens into a tunnel that brings you into, I kid you not, a two story high, like, art exhibit playground essentially ah. like it was massive and you are literally like where am i it felt like disneyland on like steroids oh. like it was crazy um i didn't film i didn't think to film anything like anything we're going through all the different rooms it probably took us like maybe th two hours three hours there's so many different like passageways and like it's almost like mazy it was like really weird all these like mirrors like art it was like kind of trippy like i could almost see you not liking it i just had a nostalgic flashback was that ever a thing like a, a maze like a like a birthday party like is that a thing people do birthday parties at like mazes am i dreaming like Were laser like, tag is that a laser tag like thing laser oh my god i'm tag? having like a weird nostalgic or moment like a, where i'm imagining that what's funny is i said oh my god this would be such a dope place to play laser tag yeah. <laughs> like literally so fun it was crazy and then of course you see piece vegas you know so you see people like actually tripping like looking at all the things and i was just like damn makes sense <laughs> i'm like y'all are probably having a great time <laughs> and i mean i was like oh god I was like, okay so we're there for a while and then we're getting ready to go and we're standing near the restrooms in in the market right and i'm just kind of sitting there and and i had a few like people notice me earlier that day but this girl had like long blonde hair and out of the corner of my eye i see her dart like directly to me very fast my initial instinct is, oh, it must be a fan. But I, I noticed it was like weird. And she was coming directly to me, not to Mia and not to Mia's boyfriend. So I was like, this is weird. She comes straight up to me and goes, I can't even say it without laughing. <laughs> Fuck. Keep in mind, she's dead ass. Are you friends with the Asian girl? <laughs> Remy, I was so uncomfortable. I did not know what to do. <laughs> I was so, no, no, dead ass. She like, and I was. Was she talking, what, no. was she Asian girl? Lauren, no, Mia. No, no, and Mia's right next to yeah. me. Yeah, okay, so, so not Mia. So Lauren so or I, me. I was confused. I was like. You got Huh? <laughs> I was like, oh my God, this is a Remy fan. But I was like, that's kind of weird because like, obviously y'all have Asian girl squad. I'm like, Mia's right next to me. Like, no. So, so what do me. I do? What do I do? 
I laugh because I'm so uncomfortable. I go, because <laughs> who says like, are you friends yeah. with the Asian girl? I've never had yeah. that ever. I was like, what the fuck? I laugh. I don't know what else to do. And then she goes off on me. <gasps> I kid you not. She literally goes, this is not funny. You should not be laughing. Like going off on me. And I'm sitting there blank face. And I'm like, she's tripping like something like what the fuck? And it, then it hits me. I'm like, she's not like my normal demo. Like she is, but she isn't like, she definitely was older. And like, she was with like a boyfriend or something and he was behind, but just kind of standing there. <laughs> and Mia and Jerry were like straight face and like, just I was confused. So confused. Luckily I felt safe because I was like, they would like get a bitch for me. Yeah. <laughs> like, I'm yeah. like, I feel safe because they're there. Yeah. But I was, I felt my Chloe face happen of being like, what is going on? What the fuck is happening? And then I was like, oh my God, this poor girl, she's like on something, but I'm like, her eyes looked fine. Like she seemed fine. Maybe she wasn't. Then oh, this is she goes, a good story. <laughs> then she Maybe goes, I've wronged her before. <laughs> no, then she goes, your friend is on something. She doesn't know what. She fell in uh. the bathroom. <laughs> she hurt. She knocked out all of her top, top teeth. Oh no. Bleeding everywhere. She's like, I don't want her to get arrested. So I'm trying to like help her. <gasps> all that she said is that her friend is Burnett with a blue and pink corset. I look down, I'm wearing a blue and pink corset. Oh. And obviously I have brunette hair. Oh my God. And then God. I look at her so confused and then it hits me. Oh my God, she's being dead ass. Yeah, and she's just trying to help. She's trying to help. Oh. And, and literally I'm just standing. And then she's like, wait, says something and she can just tell, finally she could tell I'm, I have no idea what's going on. Yeah. She's like, wait, are you not Erica? And I go, <laughs> no, I'm not Erica. <laughs> like, I don't know who Erica, like, I don't know anything. Oh. And she's like, oh my God, wait, your friend's not, <laughs> you don't know Megan and I'm like no I don't know Megan <laughs> I literally was and then I think I think it kind of took her off guard because she was like oh sorry like I don't I just got into mom mode and I yeah. like whatever. and I was like no it's what fine a sweet girl no she was trying to help but I was literally like the Asian girl but why didn't she come up and say are, do you know Megan do you know Megan <laughs> yes are you friends with me like anything other than that like I literally I thought she was your fan I literally was like okay kind of rude like why would you word it that way and then too, I was so so fucking confused. And then I was like, are we gonna have to fight a bitch? Like what the heck is Wait, happening? You're saying this is not funny. I was I literally was so uncomfortable. I, go, <laughs> I would have been scared, honestly. I would have been scared. No, we were like, what? And then we were kind of like shooken up after we we're like, that's so weird. And she's like, okay, like whatever. So then we kind of kind of leave like awkwardly. And she's like, I'm sorry again. Have a good night. And I was like, okay. It's like that story though, I was thinking about this the other day because I went to that restaurant. Do you remember when I had a reservation and then uh, someone tried to take my reservation and I thought that a stalker was going to kill yes, me? Yes. I think about that a lot because like how embarrassing when I called the the like reservations person and told them I'm scared. Yeah. When she was like, what? Like so, I saw someone, someone must have like mistaken. I was like, no, I'm scared to come now. And yeah. she was like, why would you be scared? But that's because we have a following. So we have to be scared. Yes. You were scared because you thought like, oh, it just adds a, like it's a layer, layer of confusion. Well, also the only reason I laughed was because I was like, oh, is she referencing like Asian Girl Squad? And I was yeah. like, this is awkward. Like, I just what? imagine me and Jerry being like, and, and then, well, <laughs> Mia was like, I'm Asian. Like, yeah. I, like are you talking to me? Yeah. Like, what's going on? So then we go. Um, <laughs> we, so no, funny. it was so bad. So then we go down a little bit to where we're like not in the same area. And then over the intercom, we hear, Erica, your friend Megan is looking for you. Oh. And I'm like, this poor girl. Like, oh this God, poor her girl. Tea. Oh, my God. I hope Megan's okay. I hope, Megan, if you're listening. Erica, if you're listening, I hope you didn't, you know, leave your friend. Oh, my God. <laughs> I also just want to say again, if you were at the Aria Hotel maybe a year ago and I gave you a slice of pizza, you never let me know if you were okay. <laughs> and I think about you often also just thinking of Vegas. So if you could also comment, Megan... Uh, Erica and the girl from the hotel. I forget her name, yes. I don't remember either, but I have a photo with you. If you just <laughs> want to like tell us that you're okay, thank you. Yeah, so that, that that is when I was like, oh my God, that was- That's hilarious. I, like, I That's hilarious. I literally was wearing, it was from White Fox. It's like blue and pink corset. And I have brunette hair. Like it was so spot That's on. So, did you see another person with a blue no. and pink? No, I mean, just, there like, were a so lot of people there. Specific though. I know. I another White Fox girl. I was like, <laughs> I looked down. I was like, "Oh, this makes more sense." Oh my god, that's so funny. I know. What else happened? So that night, Erin Gilfoy actually texts me, and she's like, "Are you in Vegas? Come to emo night tonight." And I was like, "Oh my god, yes! Like, I'd love to." I'm with two other people though. Is that fine? She's like, "Yeah, that should be fine." And I was so excited because I was like, "Oh my god, I love emo night!" Because I saw them at Coachella, and I've yet to go to their own show on their own. Basically. 
Omega Mart took a little too long. By the time we got back to the hotel, me and Jerry were super tired. And I was on that in between of like, oh, like if I go, I'm going to drink and I'm going to be out super late. I was like, or I could just go to bed and the festival's tomorrow. So I don't want to like, oh no, <laughs> I was like the festival's tomorrow. So I'll just like, I guess I'll go to bed. So I literally texted her the next morning. I was like, I'm so sorry. Biggest L of my life was not going. Cause it yeah. looked like it was so much fun. And because all the actual bands were already out there, they had such good guests. Wow. Like Tyson Ritter came out from all American Rejects. I love Tyson like, Ritter. Good at like, oh, I should have gone. I'm so sad. So the next morning I texted her, I'm like, oh my God, I wish I had a bed excuse other than I like slept you know then that's when I wake up to 10 messages you Ollie Bri like everyone be like oh my god it's canceled it's can uh, I was like shut the fuck up it's canceled yeah. it's like it's canceled so regretted not going to emo night um we'll have to go to a show soon and I'm just gonna you're just gonna sing watermelon the whole time <laughs> I know some songs you do and th they um, play the, the hits gives you hell and it gives you Good hell job. that's like one of their newer ones but like it's what's fine. a big all American reject song um dirty little secret move oh along. I know Oh, I know that one. Yes, yeah. yes, yes, yes. I would like um, <laughs> the one that's married to Mr. Kate, the, that group. Does that constitute? Wait, what were they? The jump five? Click five. Click five. Yes. Does that constitute? No, I love No, I don't oh. think they would. Never I mean, mind. maybe. I don't know. Never mind. I loved them. You guys, the holiday season is rolling around. It is so close. And let's be real. It, there's a lot of mixture of emotions here, excitement and also some stress, especially if you are a small business owner, because there's exciting, you know, potential big orders to fill and gifts to send out. But that also means you could be busier than ever. Um, so before it's too late, you can get your holiday mailing and shipping under control with stamps.com. Sign up now and you'll be printing your own postage in minutes. As we know, Vlogmas is coming along so quickly and I love doing a little small business feature during Vlogmas and just highlighting a bunch of amazing small businesses that like our viewers have, our listeners have, whoever that may be. And if you also have a small business, stamps.com is perfect for you. They offer solutions that cut down on the stress of operating a business without the same structure as a huge company. For example, you can do basically everything from home. As long as you have a computer and a printer, you can print postage, schedule a package pickup, get access to all the USPS and UPS services that you need and you never even have to leave your home office. So if you have a small business and you're working from home, maybe you're a stay-at-home mom or anything along those lines, it is great for you. And they also care about getting you the best deals with major discounts and a switch and save feature that ensures you to get the best rate available. So this holiday season, trade late nights for silent nights and get started with stamps.com today. Sign up with promo code BASIC for a special offer that includes a four-week trial plus free postage and a free digital scale no long-term commitments or contracts. Just go to stamps.com, click the microphone at the top of the page and enter code BASIC. Oh my God. Okay. So Saturday comes around. You're in, I'm in Vegas for one day. You know, I already knew we weren't going to go to the second day of the event. So I was like, okay, I'm here for one day. Like, what do I do? Mia had some reservations that she had booked way prior to me even joining them. So I was like, go ahead and do that. I'm like, by myself. I'm like, oh, this is boring. I'm like, what do I do? <laughs> <You> <laughs> what do I think? Like, by myself. <laughs> I've never been sadder than I missed out on a trip because you didn't even go to the festival. I, know. I was so I told Brad I was like oh, I could be just in Vegas <laughs> right now on a free trip, and I said no. I know. <laughs> oh man. So then a friend hits me up and is like, Oh my god, I'm so sad um, about the festival, but we're gonna go to Encore if you want to come. So I'm like, Oh my god, yeah, I'll come. <laughs> like me just being the third wheel to everything. I'm like, Hey guys, like, what's up? So we end up going to Encore Beach Club. Oh my God. I already have like secondhand embarrassment. Like I literally <laughs> already do. This what is happened? so what bad. Happened? Was it falling off a table bed? It couldn't have been that <laughs> no, bad. It, it couldn't have been that been, bad. No. <laughs> I still think of that every day. <laughs> you falling off the, the table so in Ohio <laughs> was the best thing ever. <laughs> me and Aaron just looking at each other like, what? <laughs> Like pretending it didn't happen. We should have him come on PV when he comes. Oh my god, Uran, on PV. <laughs> so we go and Marshmallow was performing, so it was like really cool. We end up getting backstage, like finesse that. I don't know. We were there. She's a DJ girl, apparently. So I was apparently, <laughs> apparently no. But keep in mind, again, I was like, I don't have Vegas clothes. Like, oh. I like so. Luckily, I had like shorts and tennis, but I had nothing for a pool party. You know, the whole wedge sarong yes. situation. Yes, not me. Okay. <laughs> Okay. I looked, I had my chain Air Force ones, <laughs> but luckily a lot of other people you could tell were there for the festival. Yeah. Um, Marshmallow even played some like emo songs. I was like, you know, your demo right now. I saw even Katy Perry cause she's a residency. Yes. I saw a, like her show was significantly more packed cause people were just yes. looking for something to do. Yes. And she on stage was like, I know a lot of you were not planning to come here tonight. 
away and she gave like a little like shout out to some people. So I think Vegas just like, it was just a different vibe. And Mia bought her tickets through a package with the Uh. hotel and they're only covering the ticket, not the hotel. (gasps) Doesn't that suck? (sighs) I mean, I'm not surprised. And I didn't even, I was like, there's no way for them to, for me to prove that I was going to the festival. Like I just bought a hotel in Vegas. They're not going to reimburse me for that. It's similar to the whole Adele thing where people were in Vegas waiting day of and then she cancels. So that was, I thought that was kind of shitty. I was like, especially if they booked a package, they should at least get Mm-hmm. like something oh, she even a package voucher. through the company through the company <gasps> so she got the hotel and the tickets together live nation that's not cool i know i was just like if it was anywhere else other than vegas i feel like they would have gotten more like for me i didn't even bother trying so i was like it's fine you booked it on your own yeah yeah i could see that so at this point alicia is a drunk okay because that's all she wanted i was like i'm in vegas i'm not going to my festival i just want to like dance and be drunk and be merry you know what i mean so we're dancing we're having like the time of our lives marshmallow goes on and then we were like wouldn't it be dope to be marshmallow because you could just have someone else dj and like no one no, no one, one knows, knows. <laughs> same stature never have to cancel you know what i mean just like play his tracks yeah slay that's true i love that that's true and then this guy is like hey come over to our table so i'm like okay <laughs> so we like go over there and like oh my god i hate talking about this shit okay so we end up drunkenly making out like drunk like it was bad it was bad like it was just not cute like i just felt it you know what i mean yeah and his like Okay, some of y'all might say I'm shallow. His body was like a 10. His face was like a four. Like it was- But he had the table. But he had the table. But he had the table, so but he's he had a the six. Table. So that, <laughs> my friend goes, okay, so that averages to a 6.5. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> he's got a table. Um, And he was nice enough to, six, and then he was nice enough to invite you to the table, so 6.5. Yeah, but you know, he did that to like so many other girls too, I'm sure. That's okay. You got a free drink out of it. <sighs> and a so, free makeup. <laughs> so we're like making out. I'm there for like a hot minute, right? We're dancing, whatever. And then I turn to my left and there's this really pretty girl with brown hair and she has her phone kind of out and she's looking at me. <gasps> and I was like, <laughs> I was like, this is not what I think it's, oh, I, think so. I hope this is not what I think is about to happen. Like, I hope it's not. We make eye contact. We make eye contact. She goes, are you Alicia Marie? <laughs> You're like, no, it's I'm no- actually Megan. <laughs> Again, I'm Megan. I'm Erica today. Oh, Erica, Erica. (laughs) Can that be your new drunk alter ego? Please, please. Uh, Erica, yes, yes, yes. Erica. Instantly, I just, again, I was so uncomfortable. What did I do? I screamed. I literally go straight, turn on, I like grab her. I'm like, oh my, I was like, I'm, I was like, I'm so sorry. I don't even know this guy. Like, I'm so Like, I was so uncomfortable. And she was like, no, like, this is crazy. Like, I literally met you at VidCon in 2017. Let me find the photo. So then, so then there's like a, gu- a guy's like trying to dance with her. My guy's like trying to dance with me. And we're just in a, such a deep combo of like, oh my God, like, when was it? Like, let's find it. And they're so confused. They're like, what is going on? She ends up finding the photo and shows me and I scream. Like literally, I'll show it to you. It was so funny. Literally, I was wearing the pink skirt, the yellow fucking top. Why was I wearing a yellow top? Oh my God. And I, it just made me think, I'm like, damn, like if we only knew then where we would be now, you know? <laughs> <laughs> this this was us at VidCon. Oh my God. So fucking funny. That's so cute. It's so cute. I hope you retook the picture. Her name's Olivia. Well, we did take a, we took a few, po- we did, we took these. <laughs> <laughs> Those are those the guy's Louis Vuitton glasses. Uh. <laughs> he was in Fendi board shorts. <laughs> Ew. I hate it. Suddenly, I hate it. suddenly he's back to a six. Suddenly he's suddenly at a, he's five. a five. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh my god. Then she's like, "Oh, I'm here for my friend's twenty first. And then all of the friends come over and they're like, "Holy fuck, we listened to the podcast!" Like, "Oh my god, I grew up." watching you we have like there's like a mini meet and greet there and then all these guys sarah sent me a video yeah, that was so funny. <laughs> she texts in the team remy chat i love alicia's having a meet and greet <laughs> they were so sweet i followed them because i was like oh my. and one girl went to cbu and no i was like oh my way. god Lancers. i went there for like <laughs> i went there for quite literally a semester <laughs> I'm crying. I'm un. I'm literally like I'm so. Oh, and then I didn't even tell you. Okay. Oh, I hate this. Everyone's like, 
Alicia talked about your, uh, okay. He he kept he kept, he kept he kept doing too much tongue. Mm. He kept licking me, and I told him I kid you not. Ew, lick. lick. Like where did he lick I don't, you? No, I just can't. I don't even. I don't. No, I want to know. He'd be like. <laughs> 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 In your mouth, it was like that, yeah, like, like a lizard, like, like you know when they lick their eyeball. Like, yeah, yeah, <laughs> literally, literally. In your and mouth, basically. And I said, I lit- fifteen times. I said, it's too much. Stop. I was like, it's too much. Good for you for saying. Like, no, but he didn't get it. He was like, and I was like, no, it's too much. Like it's yeah, not you have cute. to specify tongue. Yeah, I'm like, it's too like th- stop. And he'd be like, oh, okay. And I'd be like, oh, oh. In your mouth, just like like just an in out. <laughs> Just an in I out. hate talking about this. My mom's listening. I know. Your mom's <laughs> crying right now. She's like, she has a one singular tear coming down her eyes. <laughs> Sorry, Chris. Sorry, mama. But yeah, then then we had the meet and greet. Marshmallow closed it down. Um, then we went. Oh, then we had a towel reservation. So I ended up going, meeting Mia there. Love that. She's like, how was your day? And I was like. <laughs> oh, my favorite is that when I was at um, Marshmallow, I texted him. We were just keeping each other updated the whole time. So I'm like, hey, um, I'm here, blah, blah, blah. We're good, whatever. And then she's like, oh, perfect. LOL, we're antiquing. <laughs> and I was like, that is so Mia. The juxtaposition. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> Literally. Um, I mean, those were my my two funny stories, but that it was good. I, did I see My Chemical Romance? No. Are they next in Mexico and then uh, Australia? Yes. <gasps> so, uh, you know. I guess she's going worldwide. Uh, you know, and if it gets canceled, I will. It'll be in Mexico and Australia and you'll I'll party. So sad. I, I do think they added a new date next weekend, but, or this weekend, but it's. Do they like have a new album they're touring or just, Honestly, is it the oldies? I think it's just all the oldies because I don't know. Call me a fake fan. Also, you know who was a fake fan? Me last night. Where? When I went to the Harry Styles oh. concert. <laughs> I thought of you because I had. I had Don't slept. say a bitch. They're going to get mad I, at you. No, 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 no. I put slept for Styles on my t-shirt. We made t-shirts. It was <gasps> fun. And I literally pictured you being like. <gasps> Rolling the clip yeah. of you saying he's not cute. To my defense, I feel like I've admitted that I didn't think he was that cute during One Direction. Mm-hmm. However, I really love his stuff now. And I knew pretty much almost every song. I actually preferred him in One Direction. That makes sense. I just thought he was flipped. cuter back then, personally. He's it, still hot now. Oh, my God. I got you a gift. A gift? Yeah. And From I the concert? Home. I got us merch t-shirts. <gasps> oh, my God. Thank you. And I meant to bring it. Oh. Was Olivia Wilde there? I don't know. Mm-hmm. Mm, I know. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about her. I get a weird vibe. I get a weird vibe too, but I'm like, mm, I don't know. Have you seen the stuff about the nanny and the salad dressing that came out? Yes. Super odd. But explain it. Basically their nanny is coming out saying that there's there's so many different stories coming out. There was like one saying that Flo, essentially Miss Flo <laughs> was hooking up with Harry at the beginning. And then uh, Olivia like told Jason and was like, oh my God, they're hooking up. But Florence was dating Zach Braff for a long time. Oh. And uh, that was like a thing. And then all of a sudden, Olivia started hooking up. This is all legend, obviously. Um, Olivia started hooking up with Harry. And then she like made him a salad with her salad dressing. This is all what the nanny's saying. And Jason, like when she was making Harry this salad, she was like taking it out to bring it to him. And Jason laid in front of her car so he wouldn't, she wouldn't leave. And then I think that's the most of it. And so that's like the, the thing that's coming around. Olivia and Jason put out a statement together saying like the nanny is crazy, whatever it may be. Like, don't, don't listen to her. But then Olivia posted the salad dressing on online. So like, so like co- shade, right? I don't know if she was like, I don't know if that was like, fueling the fire or if she was like being funny i don't know if she was like basically saying yeah here's the dressing i yeah i saw the headlines i saw made it seem like she was throwing shade that makes more sense but doesn't that then uh confirm that there was a salad that she was making harry styles do you know what i mean like that's what i thought i was like so maybe that is true regardless who really cares i know he was Looking fine last night. He's so cute. His little dance. Oh my God. He was running around the entire stage. It was really cute. Also the crowd, the energy was so like crazy. Palpable? In a good way. Was yes. it palpable? Can you explain the hoo, hoo, hoo thing to me? I don't know. Oh my God. It, everyone started going hoo, hoo, hoo. And I literally, me and TK looked at each other and I was like, I don't know what this means. I feel like in K-pop, it's really big to get together before they perform. Like in, in K-pop, they do like a debut and then like a bunch of stages in between of like, 
shows and things and it's normal for all the fans to gather like at coffee shops or like restaurants and things and practice the, the fan chants so they like go with the song it's crazy at one point it's I him and the drummer which he had a, a chick drummer which i thought was so cool um they were like Love going it. along with it so i didn't know if it was a thing that i just didn't i was like i'm sure it's just a th- and like mm-hmm. I, I bet everybody there has already seen him at some point or oh another God, you know yeah. what i mean yeah. so maybe it's a thing okay if you guys are listening and you're in college or you're at back to school right now our hearts are with you we understand how hard first of all just going back to school is after summer can be and also when you get thrown into it and you get essays and projects and just all of these things thrown at you it is a lot so you know who is here to help you not only us at pretty basic but also grammarly i am so jealous for those of you for y'all that have grammarly as an option you know now you know when i was in school it wasn't an option and i just have to say it has changed my life and i I would have been a better student because of it, you know? No, I would have done so much better in school. I think I just would have been able to learn. It's hard because when you're in school, you don't really have much to base off your writing off of. But if you had Grammarly, I feel like it would be a nice way to learn hands on how my writing should have been and how it should have looked like. Grammar is my least well-versed subject. (laughs) I think that was improper grammar. (laughs) So if you guys are in school and you're not using Grammarly, you are truly missing out. It's free to download. And the free version of Grammarly offers comprehensive spelling, grammar, and punctuation suggestions. So basically, you will be able to just write significantly better. Also, there is Grammarly Premium, and that comes with advanced features like Clarity Full Sentence Rewrites, which basically will flag and rephrase hard-to-read sentences, or the built-in plagiarism detection. We do not stand for plagiarism. No. And it's just a way that Grammarly can help catch the details that go into getting the best possible grade. So improve your grades with fewer all-nighters by using Grammarly. Sign up for free today at Grammarly.com slash basic and get 20% off when you're ready to upgrade to Grammarly Premium. That's G-R-A-M-M a-r-l-y dot com slash basic first of all thank you so much to macy's for being a wonderful friend of the show we love you guys so much thank you for just being all over not only great to us but also just a great department store since they have you covered on everything you could possibly need fall is such an interesting season because depending where you are the weather is extremely different like here in southern california you know we're so excited that it's you know, mid (laughs) seventies and it's not a hundred degrees anymore. True. But also, you know, fall on the East coast is actually real fall and and pretty (laughs) cold. So especially when you're traveling or whatever, or if you're just trying to think of a fall wardrobe, I love Macy's because they have anything and everything you could need for different styles, different weathers. Like if you are an extreme cold, they got you. If you are in, you know, Southern California, a little fall, which is more like summer still, um, they also got you with a, little, a light little jacket. So no matter what trends you're loving this fall, if you want the knee-high boots, if you want the huge cardigans, or if you need some, you know, some actual- Some shorts. You know, some shorts, <laughs> whatever it is, they got you. If you're in that weird transitional time, just like we all are, Macy's also has your back finding the perfect outfits and trends to help you with this tough weather. They give you access to a totally free personal stylist so you can consult them for whatever you may need. You know, like as it's getting colder, you might need like a winter coat or also, you know, there's family gatherings coming up. Maybe you need a nice sweater to wear, a nice turtleneck for your grandma. Mm -hmm. Um, Then they've got you covered on that. Macy's selection of clothes and the hottest trends is truly huge. So it's good to have a personal stylist on your side who's truly an expert. So whether you need a quick tip or an entire cheat sheet, Macy's personal stylist will help you put your look together either in store or from the comfort of your home. A service like this that's totally free shouldn't go to waste. So head on over to macy's.com slash personal personal stylist to book your styling appointment today. That's macy's.com slash personal stylist. That was my weekend. Love it. How was your weekend? Um, Very different, but I had the most spectacular weekend. Oh, I love it. I stayed home. I had, I woke up at like 8 a.m. every day. I worked out. I cleaned. I went to the farmer's market. I got a massage. It just was a lovely weekend by myself. And I feel like as though I am now entering my suburban mom wifey era. era i think so it was saturday night it was 8 p.m and i felt like i've lived four weekends already in one i was like this is fantastic because when we go out which i love going out still it just takes a lot out of you after 26 a hangover lasts me all day mm-hmm. until 7 p.m the next day and then i'm awake and fine and ready to go mm-hmm. again but then it's 7 p.m and then i want to go to bed yeah so i think i'm i'm gonna go out for halloween obviously but i'm entering my calm era should we be sober november 
No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, never. Ew, yeah, never mind. <laughs> Here, that's a horrible idea. I like. I I like a, a glass of wine. Last night I had a glass of wine and I cooked dinner. Oh, roasted potatoes, steak, Brussels sprouts with pecans and and cranberries. Oh, so I'm like entering my wifey era, and I'm like living for it. But it's funny because I feel like you've o- already been in the wifey era, but it's not the part. Like, there's no going out, so it's like the weekend wifey era. Yes, I just feel a new time in my life is shifting oh my god I love it I feel it it's coming on um well I have to tell you a random story about when I went to New York with Kaylee oh my god because we didn't talk about that yet this is a random story Kaylee and I if you guys don't know Kaylee's my best friend from uh eighth grade ninth grade and we have never gone on a trip just us two like I took her on a brand trip but like you know you're on a brand trip or if we travel it's like in a group of yeah of like four people uh so we've never traveled individually and it was her birthday in August, and I decided to take her to New York for her fall break because she's a teacher mm-hmm. um, as her gift. And so we went to New York, and we had a fabulous time. We were on the exact same wavelength. Uh, normally, when I go to New York, I need at least like four days to make it feel like it was worth flying yeah. for six hours. After 24 hours with Kaylee, I was ready to go home. I told her, <laughs> you know what? You were right. Two days was more than enough. Oh my God. She's just, we bring out like, and I posted the vlog and all the comments were like, the chaos is as soon as you guys just like <laughs> meet is just, it, it, it you, you can't, you can't fight it. It's just like absolute chaos. And as soon as we touch. So we got to the airport. I met her there. She immediately started drinking a beer. And I was like, this is not Vegas. Put the beer away. <laughs> We're at LAX. She didn't care. Uh, we went to New York. And in the first 24 hours, so much chaos ensued. Specifically my favorite story, which I talked about this on an Instagram live. And everybody was like, oh, this is a normal New York situation. Mm-hmm. I witnessed a subway fight. Apparently they happen all the time. But I and Kaylee were gagged. <laughs> Let me just explain. So. We get on, we're like, oh my God, we're going to be such little New York girlies. Let's get on the subway. <laughs> so we go, we like buy our Metro cars. We're like, ah, oh, walking through. We get on the subway. We're like sitting like, oh, this, this is so funny. We realize we're at the wrong stop. We went on of the course, wrong way. Of so we get off. We go up onto the street. We're like, where do we go? Oh my God, this is so wild. <laughs> where do we go? Where do we go? <laughs> We go down, we realize we get on the right one. And um, we were just trying to get it to go two stops over to get off and cross over. We're like city urban girlies. Mm-hmm. And sorry, I'm also t- being completely facetious right now. No, it's, it's it funny. wasn't that big of a deal. But we're, so we get on the right way and we're sitting there and we're waiting. And I'm like my back towards the station. So there's like obviously like the middle section and then two subways going either way. Uh, and so my back is turned. Kaylee and I are, are facing like the wall and we're right next to like the the doors that open mm-hmm. and close, obviously. And so we're waiting, we're just sitting, we're like, this is so fun. Oh my God. And then all of a sudden I hear like screaming and I'm like, oh, they must be, they're, they're going to miss the stop. Like, oh my gosh, they're, I bet they're like trying to get their friend to hurry. And so I hear like, and I like look over and she's like the door, this door is only like maybe five feet that way. I'm sitting right next to this door and I hear screaming. And then she goes over to the door that's a little bit further and is like, you want to fucking fight? You want to fucking fight? And I was like, oh, my ears pop up. I'm like, what's going on? And I look over everyone also on the subway. Everybody else is just like, you know, just like on their phone, like Reading. not. And Kaylee and I are like, oh, what is going on? And yeah. we look and she's yelling. It's a mom and her daughter, like a teenage daughter. And they're yelling at this person. And so they were screaming and she's like, you're going to fucking punch my kid. You're going to punch my kid. I'm going to fucking punch you. They're screaming. And Kaylee and I are like, oh my God, what's happening? And so the daughter's just following the mom and the daughter like looks entertained, honestly. She's yeah. like, what is going on? And so the mom's chasing this person and the mom's like chasing the person. The person dry- runs over to the other subway. Like, so, you know, like the middle section on it's the like other one. Yes. <laughs> and then the mom's on my side and she's running through our car and we're just sitting there like waiting and they're running back and forth and every time the person goes to my train the mom like they're missing each other back and forth back and forth and I'm just like when is this train taking off my god this is taking forever when is this gonna go but also I'm entertained and so they're running back and forth running back and forth and then all of a sudden the doors start to close and I was like oh my god okay it's almost over the mom sticks her I, this is the door that's next to me mom sticks her hand in the door and it's stuck there and you can tell she's like trying to get it to like open but I started freaking out because I'm pretty sure I've been on like Korean 
trains before can, where they just keep like they'll, yeah. they'll go they're yeah. like, it's crazy like it closes and it's going so i'm like oh my god i don't know what, what happens here like is it gonna go so she's like her arms in between she's freaking out you can tell she gets her other arm in and hulk <gasps> opens it and you can tell because you thought the person was on my car for some reason they kept thinking my car you can tell they thought they were safe and they're just like oh <gasps> And they start running again to the other one. And so they're chasing each other. And then finally, the person gets back on my car and the door, the door shut. And the mom's outside on the, the station and the, the person's in my car and the doors close. And the person goes, you fucking thought, you fucking thought. All of a sudden, you. <laughs> <laughs> they open. They're literally inches away from each other. And Kaylee and I are literally just, we at one point we moved to the other side because we're like, we don't know what to do. No one seems bothered whatsoever. They're screaming. They're running back and forth, back and forth. And then finally some like people pulled them off and then they were like figuring it out on the, the middle station area. And I'm like, oh my God, this is nuts. I look up. We've been at our stop the entire time. The subway was done. It was done. It was at the last stop that it would go to. Oh. Um, so then we get out and we're like, oh my God, this is so nuts. And I told it on Instagram and everybody said, this is so normal. I bet. It's it so happens normal. all the time. But I was just like, the, it was the movie, the hand, the doors. It was, and it all happened in a matter of two minutes. What did Kaylee say? Kaylee and I were just like, oh my God, what the what a New York experience. <laughs> this is invigorating. Kaylee's like, can I get your autograph? <laughs> It was, cr- in a movie. it was crazy. Oh my God. No, I'm sure that shit happens all the time, but I feel like we honestly are never on the subway. No, um, which I like, I, I also just know there's a lot more crime happening down there in general. So I was like trying to be aware of everything. Also, that shit is confusing, especially when you grew, like I did not grow up in any public transportation, like anything. Mm-hmm. I remember the first time using the subway, I was so turned around all the different lines. And I know it takes a while to like learn and get used yeah. to. And obviously people, most people don't drive there, but, um, and they probably look at the 405 and they're like, how do you drive that? Yeah. But it, I just remember being like so overwhelmed by it. I mean, LA's public transportation just sucks like yeah. in general. Like I think it's incredible. New York, Japan, Korea, whoever, like they've got it figured out. When I got on the subway, I was so confused. And Kaylee and I were like fighting with each other. Like, no, we're going on this one. We go on this one. And this man was like, where are you trying to go? And I was like, eighth Avenue. And he was like, stay here thank you so much (laughs) i love that it was fantastic i loved it that was truly the only story i had to share from our entire trip because other than that we just got drunk and slept till 6 (laughs) p.m i remember i think you you're like it's 6 p.m should i get out of bed like you sent me a photo and it was so funny but we were on the exact same wavelength of like we didn't want to do anything but lay Amazing. And it was fantastic. Uh, well, obviously that that fight took it all out of you. I know there was a lot more that happened, and truly, I feel like I blacked it out of my Did brain. Did you eat anywhere really good? Mm, yes, we ate at Domo Domo, which is like a sushi Japanese fusion. Really good. Have I been there? I don't know. I saw not. I just now whenever I travel, I go on TikTok and I, I just know. look up places to eat in wherever. It sounds familiar, but maybe not. I only went. We honestly didn't eat much either because we were just like laying but it was fantastic um and that's that's the only story i had to tell really damn three months without us together i know <laughs> well that's my only story from new york any new stories i have to tell oh i have been keeping a note of things that we can talk about wait i do too i have a, <clears throat> a notes app where i'm literally like i do have something um we have been hanging out obviously behind the scenes we just like haven't recorded a pod in a minute but you and i were driving to oh we went to brunch our, our brunch our boozy brunch when was that? Like last weekend. Oh, yes. yes. <laughs> and as we were driving, we were just discussing on uh, in the car on the way over. And we got on the topic of uh, things that are embarrassing that shouldn't be oh. or things that feel embarrassing but shouldn't be. And the reason why this sparked an idea was because we were driving on the freeway and someone, I can't remember if it was like a fender bender or like a cop pulled them over. I think a cop pulled them over. Okay. Cop pulled them over. And we started talking about it. And I was like, I don't know why, but like, I mean, I've been pulled over before, not by a cop, but I've gotten into like accidents before. And it's so embarrassing being on the side of the freeway, which I know it shouldn't be, but you're just like, I remember my big accident that I got into was in Riverside Uh between the 215 fork and I got hit really badly. So I pulled over to the side and 
traffic was really slow as is. So like if you're on the side and it's, it, it's fast, obviously it's very scary and very dangerous, but like people were going, it was like rush hour, like five miles per yeah. hour. So I'm just standing on the side of the road waiting for this tow truck. And like people are driving so slow by staring at me. And I was like, this is so embarrassing, but it shouldn't. And also shouldn't. someone hit me. It yeah. wasn't even my fault. Yeah. And I remember I got home and a girl on Facebook was like, were you on the 215 today? Like I saw <sighs> you, are you okay? No. And I was like, that's so embarrassing, but it shouldn't be embarrassing. No. So we wanted to talk about things that are, oh are, yes, but, oh my God. and feel, but they shouldn't be. You mentioned eating a banana. I, eat, I was gonna say, for whatever reason, ever since like elementary school, I always felt like eating banana was so embarrassing. That's and that was before I knew any I sexual say, reference to it. Oh, like, you just I, thought it was embarrassing yes, to eat a banana? Yes. Why? They're full of potassium. Exactly. So I always would eat my banana like picking off a piece <gasps> and then putting it in my mouth. Oh my god! Is that weird? String cheese. So. No, uh, string cheese, I'll take a nibble and then I peel. Oh, okay, okay. But what other phallic foods are there? No, but literally, like, I just remember banana. Like, I've always. Specifically? Yeah. I would say. Which, like, it shouldn't be. It is. It's healthy. You said tying your shoe. I wrote uh, that down. I, when I have to <laughs> kneel down to tie my shoe, like, I don't, or especially during a workout. Like, I don't know what it is for me, but I'm like, I'm so embarrassed. Like, like I don't know why. There's no fucking reason. I was in Soul Cycle a couple days ago and I dropped my water bottle and it was, I haven't felt that much embarrassment in a long time. You know what, though? Now that I think about it, I think it's more if your shoe's untied. It's just Versus, embarrassing. Like, your shoes. It's less of the tying. I think it's more of like, oh, my shoe's untied. <laughs> like, <laughs> but it's like, also, that's the thing that people like tell everyone. Like, oh, my shoe's untied. Yeah. Well, you could just quietly bend down and I do know. it. But it has to be a full announcement. When you're in class and you have to like get up and get a tissue. <gasps> yes. Oh, my God. Or when your napkins fly away in the wind. For Harry, for Harry Styles, I brought everyone boas. So... I had a huge like party city bag that they were in, but you know, like most of these places you can't bring in big bags. So I was like, oh, TK, we have to wear them. So TK and I are wearing <laughs> 10 boas, like five each. Like we looked like we were wearing like a fucking jacket. It was so funny. And then I looked at him like, where'd my bag go? I looked, <gasps> the wind took it and it was so far and I wanted to leave it so bad, but I didn't. Do you ever feel like, like a plastic, plastic bag? <laughs> I'm actually thinking we've already talked about this on this podcast at Maybe some point, we have. I think, but I found a BuzzFeed article. I cannot, cannot explain why these 15 things are embarrassing, but they are. Walking back from your turn in bowling. <laughs> oh yes 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 that is like because you know why no 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 you know why it's embarrassing because you're you're trying to be chill when you do a good job you're like or if you don't do a good job it's also like very anticlimactic like everyone's watching you roll and it takes a long ass time to get yes, down yes i feel like it's the vibe of you trying to not look too sad or like to not be too into yeah, it. Just like no, no You're emotions whatsoever. Yes. Uh, getting up to throw something away in the middle of me a meeting or class. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, <laughs> the last few seconds of a Zoom call where everyone is trying to leave the meeting. And you're trying to not say I love you. You're like, okay, bye. I don't have that problem. Oh my God. I've always, I, every, I'm like, okay, bye, love you. Like I have to say, tell myself, don't say love you. Now I'm going to do it. Uh, just standing there contemplating your existence while everyone sings happy birthday. True. Walking up to your Uber and making sure it's the right car. Yeah. Having the dentist try to talk to you while their fingers are in your mouth. Uh, when the cashier says they can help the next customer, but you're still trying to put your change away. Oh, that's a good one. When you're like trying to like ruffle around. Yeah. And they're calling people over. I feel like I always take forever after I pay, because mm -hmm. I usually have my vlog camera, I have like a drink. Yeah. I'm, I'm, like, I'm like trying to put all my shit away. And they're like moving their cart already, like pushing you yeah. out. Stepping into an elevator when someone's already in it, true. Watching a sex scene with your parents, true. true. Uh, walking up a hill and desperately trying to hide being out of breath, true. <laughs> when you try to move out of the way for someone, but then they move out of the way for you, and then you just end up doing the dance of hell around each other saying goodbye and walking in the same direction oh that's happened to me way too many times so now i'm like oh we're probably gonna walk the same direction like i always say a joke oh that's a good call i'm like oh let's say bye i'm like even though we're probably walk walking the same direction which way are you going like literally i do that every time now things that are embarrassing it makes it less embarrassing feel embarrassing why did i think of flossing <laughs> <laughs> like it's not it's not. It's not. It's not. But like, I think of flossing without, I use the little toothbrush thing. Yeah. But I think of just the string. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind, everyone. Flossing is cool, kids. Yeah, flossing is great. Even just like when you're driving and you make eye contact with like 
the person <gasps> making next eye, to you. eye contact at a red light. Yeah, like that's just funny. You know what feels embarrassing for me? Whenever I have people over and then I say, hey, Google, turn the lights to this color. Like to me, that's so embarrassing. <gasps> Wait, no, tell me why. Whenever I have people coming over, I like to have music playing at all times. Yes. So if I have to ask Google to play music while they're there, I'm like, this is so embarrassing. Yes, because now so I'll have it playing beforehand. Yes. So I'm like, oh, we had a party the other weekend, um, the fall party. Don't worry. You were invited. I know. <laughs> Thank you. I'm like, I had a party last night. <laughs> and it was still like bright out and people started coming. I'm like, oh my God, my lights are on. And I'm like, is it more embarrassing to say, hey, Google, turn the lights on or to just have them change? I think, you know I, mean? I think actually realistically saying it's not that big of a deal. No. Like I would be like, oh yeah, like that's normal. But if, if, if we were just chilling here and then suddenly the lights went down and colors went on, what would you like? Is that more? Colors? Yeah. I think I'd be like, oh my God, the colors came on. For me, I think what's more awkward is music yeah. because I only say it to not have awkward yes. tension yes. in the room and so then when I have to say it I feel like like when you say play music mm -hmm. in my head I'm like oh she knew it was awkward and she had to bring the music on I don't think that for for you but I think that for me that's how I, yeah. th I think the same thing I yeah. only okay that's a good one another game that I wanted us to play very quickly things that would be pretty names if they weren't what they actually are yes I, I remember this going around but there was something re oh you said aioli <laughs> with ollie the other <laughs> the other day in our group chat ollie was putting together our names like it was like ali ollie Alicia. Oli Oli yeah. or something like that and the way it was spelled it looked like aioli and I was like, oh my God, our kid's name would be Aoli. The more that I kept saying it, I was like, Aoli. And I was like, Aoli, Aoli. And I was like, oh my God, that's actually pretty if it didn't mean like Aoli. <laughs> like a garlic Aoli, you know what I mean? No, I know. <laughs> you love an Aoli. I love an Aoli. I was trying to think after that, I was like, what are names? Like, I think Marmalade is a really pretty name. It is. Thank you. Yeah. Um, Maybe Marmalade, maybe. Um, There's so many like STD names that were in those <gasps> things going around. Chlamydia. Yeah, chlamydia. It's pretty. <laughs> That's right. Chlamydia. <laughs> you know what would be a cute name? Martini. Vendetta. Ooh. Ooh. That's pretty. Felony. <laughs> Felony. <laughs> Felony. That's so pretty. <laughs> omelet? No. I don't, I don't like no that omelet. one. Why is that number two? Ew. Omelet. omelet. Maybe with an E at the end. You know, sometimes I do that. Yeah, with like I mean. It, omelet. What does that even mean? Asphyxia? Oh, like to be asphyxiated is like uh, blocking the airway. Oh. Asphyxia is kind of actually beautiful. <laughs> I, chlamydia is still like, if you don't know the meaning, chlamydia, that's beautiful. <laughs> also felony, those are the two for me. Um, an anema, like anemic. Oh. Like anemia. Chalice, adrenaline. Oh my God. Adrenaline. That's mm -hmm. kind of too long, I think. It reminds me of like- Too wordy. Adrenaline. No, I don't like, like it. Like Adeline. I, I, you know Adeline's I mean? cuter than adrenaline. I though. agree. I agree. But like, I hear that like, like maybe it's similar. I'm looking at it, <laughs> looking at it, it does look similar. Um, machete, <laughs> placenta, placenta, <laughs> insomnia. See, these are so wordy. Stain. No. <laughs> no. Molten patch. No. No. I think like dog names. Yeah. Patch is a good dog name. Okay, I think chlamydia and felony are top two. I love apostrophe. Those. I like aioli cute. too. I like marmalade. And aioli. I like areolas on here. It's <laughs> <laughs> like areol. Areola. Karen. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> if it didn't mean what it was. <laughs> <laughs> I feel bad for all the Karens who aren't Karens and they're just like, damn. That like imagine sucks. if Remy became the new Karen. I know. You'd be like, I'm changing my name. I'd be so sad. Suddenly your name is short for Remington. <laughs> I still, Remington's a sleigh. It I think it's sleigh, cute. Good. But I like how you, yours is just Remy. It's mm. not short for anything. Remington Ashton Cruz. Ooh. That sounds rich. Also, um, the hot gossip of the week. I saw Miss Sierra Marie Furtado <gasps> said she would drop her Marie name. I didn't know she was Sierra Marie. She was. That, well, that's why we vibe. She's a Marie. <sighs> I had no name? idea. Yeah. Who else is a Marie? There's a lot of Maries. There are. Uh, I feel like there was a lot of YouTubers. I don't know if there's still, you know what I mean? Yeah, there's a lot. There's so many. And it was a trend to do first, first middle. middle and then like makeup. Someone, Who someone makeup. is Marie? There's so many Maries. Who was the Megan Hart's makeup? Megan Hart's makeup. I lived for her. She's not a Marie, but she could be an honor. She looks like Marie. she'd be a Marie. Megan Marie. That's cute. Marie. There's so JC many Marie. JC Marie. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. But yes, allegedly she said on her stories this week, 
she'll be having her name Sierra Furtado Winkler once she is married. Not Sierra Marie Furtado Winkler. That's a little long. I it is that. long. Yeah. I get it. Gorgeous name. Also, I'm sure Sierra Furtado is trademarked. So I'm sure that's where that. She's got to keep that. You know, <laughs> yeah. Alicia Marie. I'll be keeping Marie. I was going to say, mm-hmm. you're going to keep Marie? Oh, for sure. Are you going to drop your last name? Yeah. <laughs> well, unless theirs is worse, but I, don't, I wouldn't do that to my kids. To do a... To do hyphen. McDonald. Hyphen. But I don't think they have to do a hyphen, right? I I, I don't know. I think you can... I think you can just choose for them to have, like... Just the last yeah. name. Yeah. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. But I've always been... Big yeah. shift in the Marie world. I know, but forever Marie. Forever. She's, she knows. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this chaotic episode of Pretty Basic. Thank you guys so much for listening. And we will see you next week with a new episode. Goodbye. Goodbye.